so much for tuning in today. I'm so privileged to come into your home each week and share with you what's going on here throughout Central Florida, Tampa Bay, all the way down, I like to say, is, is pretty close to Orlando that CTN uh, WCLF TV 22 goes and also down close to Sarasota. So that whole area in between Tampa Bay, St. Pete, Clearwater, uh, I'm just so privileged to come to your home and I wanna hear from you as well. And tell me things going on in this area. Well, today we are very excited to feature music again from a local artist uh, that is based here in Tampa Bay, but she travels everywhere and she originally comes from India to us, Christina Paul. Wow, are you gonna be blessed by her music today? And then we're gonna sit down and talk with her and her husband, Paul, um, in ministry that they do in India. Uh, so they do a lot of missions work as well, but get ready to get blessed today. Music that uh, Christina's just got a powerful, powerful voice. And she's gonna lead us off today singing an incredible song that she wrote called Lord of All. Your mind is 
Wow, an incredible song, Lord of All. Talk about a ministry song, and I want to introduce to you. Christina has worked her way over here along with her husband, Paul Jayasing, and, and they are just a dynamic duo here because it's not only Christina's music, but also their ministry, of uh, missions ministry called Christ for All Ministries in India. Thank you both for coming on Bay Focus today. Great to have you, Christina. I'm When I was introduced to your music, and I, before we even get talking to you, I want to tell our viewers too, um, this is from Christina Paul's latest CD, called Lord of All. The music you're hearing today, I think, mm -hmm. predominantly is yes. from this CD. Yeah. And uh, wow, it is, I've been listening to it in my car. There's just not a single song that isn't worship. I mean, you know, you, sometimes, um, Christina too, and I know that's being intentional, sometimes music is variety, a little bit, little bit more of just um, performance oriented right. or, well boy, every single one of mm -hmm. your songs. Mm -hmm. Um, just take you into the presence of the Lord. And, and I have to think that's intentional. Tell me a little bit about, because you write your music. So yes. when you put this album together and some of your other works, wh what's the, the message behind your music? Okay, um, every, every song in this album is coming from the quiet time of the Lord. So um, if you take off all of the songs, you know, a lot of all is just uh, grand worship, you know, for the mighty God He is. And He is been what he has been um, in my life and he has been my everything and he has um, come through and uh, he has met my needs many times many ways you know as I can um, as I'm singing in verse 2 and it's just every every song never let me go and beat of my heart and all of these songs is just um, I've written and uh, composed these songs when I went through some stuff in my life. Like my daughter had a neutropenia disease when she was six months old. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, God healed her. And He is dear and near to my heart. So I, there is not one day that goes by without me spending time with Him. Um, up in my um, game room, that's, where, that's my prayer area. I go there, lock myself, and uh, put worship music and that's, and, where it and that's exactly, where it comes. Exactly. That's that's where it comes. And never let me go is another expression. It's like, I want God to be walking with me hand in hand, throughout my life. Never let go of me. Don't put me in a position where I might drift off, drift away from you. Not even for a single moment. Yeah. I don't want that. So, it is just my prayer. The, the music is an outgrowth of of your own worship. Yes. To the Lord. Yes. So that just makes it so much more more um, uh, poignant to me when I'm mm -hmm. listening to know that this is just something that the Lord pour, yeah. pours into you That's right. in your own prayer time. And, and all right, now one of the things I want to mention too, that in our viewers, that you're very active because I like to highlight here in the community, you're, you're active at Victory Church in Lakeland and, and um, involved in the music there too. And I think that's so important that you have that grounding in a fellowship and in, and in a ministry. Mm -hmm. But you guys originally are from India, yes. and you came here and. I, you're seven generations, and literally your mm -hmm. um, great, great, great grandfather, something <laughs> yeah. like that, was had a dramatic conversion. That's right. Through a, from a missionary that came mm -hmm. to India. That's right. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit of your testimony? And then I want to talk more about what you're doing. Um, so, my great, great grandfather was a Hindu. He was a Hindu priest in a Hindu temple, and uh, long story short, he had many kids. They were affected by an illness called cholera, and uh, that killed most of his kids and the British missionary um, came and told him about Christ and uh, that's when my grandfather, you know, prayed with the British missionary for the other two kids that uh, were, that, that was also affected with the disease. So, and then God healed him and that was this turning point in his life and he left everything for, for Christ, to follow Christ. That's, so. that's huge <laughs> from being a Hindu priest. Yeah. Yes. And then all the generations now have continued mm -hmm. to serve the Lord. That's right. And, and okay, and, and now of course you're here in the U.S. And, and also Paul, you, you, in turn from India, I just think it's sometimes interesting for our viewers. Um, are you from different parts in India or same area or, or what? How that? We are, we are from different cities, but we are close, probably like three, four hours away. Yeah, island. okay. And how long have you all been in the U.S.? Or? I've been here for 17 years. Uh -huh. Probably a little over 20 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've you've um, grew up basically. Your children in India grew up on that line. Okay. But you've not forgotten India at all. I mean, there's there's um, a big. It's got a big part of your heart, Paul. Why don't you tell us about how how you decided to get involved and start this missions work 
and, and a little bit of the history of it and what you do for Christ for All Ministries in India. So darling, a few years back, uh, back in 2010, uh, both of us felt that God wanted us to start a missionary organization in India. Uh, we were supporting organizations till then, but at that point, uh, God, we felt that God really wanted us to go ahead and start one. So we called one uh, brother of us, uh, Christian brother of us, Reverend John Kribagaran. He's, um, he's got 30 plus years in missions work in India. So we called him and we told him this is what we feel that God's putting in our hearts. So we prayed about it for about a period of six months. And then we got true confirmation from God that this is, yes, this is what we want to do. See, India is a country where we have 7.24 billion people. And out of that, um, anywhere between five to seven percentage are Christians. So Indians are great people, they're very friendly, they're very loving. And then to imagine that if Christ were to come today, that billions of people from India would go to hell is, is a shocking thing. And, and that's the reason we started this ministry and we've seen a lot of people accept the love of Christ through this ministry. So, okay. Um, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm um, impressed on how God just, you just had this desire to start it and you just get, God kept speaking to you, you just did it. I mean, that's, you're doing it from here, you know, from the U.S. and mm -hmm. coordinating with others. What actually do you do over there? What are some of the ways that you are reaching people? And are you, is it church services? Is it, is it providing uh, assistance? What, what are you doing? We have about 31 missionaries there, darling. And the missionaries way, that are there, like mm -hmm. from India? They yes. are, yeah. They're they, Indian. Okay. They are, they're Indians. They are people mm -hmm. who actually were born there, who lived in those yeah, communities. That's the most effective kind. That's, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and what they do is they actually show the love of Christ to their neighbors. They have a prayer cell, they bring in people, uh, they have a weekly prayer cell. Small and groups. Small groups. So okay, small groups. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so that's where it starts from. And so, exactly. so literally these 30 missionaries over there are just fanning out into mm -hmm. cities, yes. neighborhoods. And you know, the, the most of the missionaries are in the northern parts of India because um, Disciple Thomas, um, Doubting Thomas, he came to India to spread the gospel. So that's why you see southern part of India is all Christians. Most of them, like a lot of Christians you would see, are concentrated in the southern part of India. So northern parts of India, we don't have any um, way of spreading the gospel, So, but through missionaries. So that's the reason many organizations are there, um, missionary organizations, including uh, ours. And we all send missionaries over to northern parts of India to spread the gospel. So okay. they reach out to the local people and speak in their dialect, learn their language and speak in their dialect and then go and, um, you know, be, people are hungry for God. That was my so, question. Are they yes. coming to these small groups? Are people? Yes, yeah. they, they do. And, and oh, the amazing part, Darlene, is that a lot of miracles happen. When, when our missionaries pray for people, a lot of miracles happen. Like I just got a testimony from them that a person with brain fever, she got healed. So her immediate, her, all her family accepted Christ and the whole village heard of that testimony. And that's, we hear a lot of testimonies like that. That's the amazing part. Oh, wow. God is truly living and He's working miracles. That, oh, that, that is real ministry to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I oh, mean, yeah. it's no yeah. spotlight, nothing. You, you just go there and you work in the fields yeah. and win souls for Christ. That's right. So that's Boy, yeah. really something. This is, yeah, this is right. Right, on the one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. with people. That's right. I mean, you are directly working with them. Okay, you, you alluded to, we're going to show some um, more opportunities for you, give you some more opportunities to sing uh, on the program. But heading into that, um, you mentioned the multiple languages and you're going all the different languages and India is full of all these different languages, which is actually a little bit new to me. I'd always knew of Hindi, but right. speaking of multiple languages, I heard you slip into Spanish in, in one of your songs <laughs> and you also do record albums in India. Indian. That's literally a language, That's Indian right. for part of yeah. India. Yeah. So, um, how multilingual are you? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, and why this, I have to say the Spanish, because you're trying, are you trying to reach, that's a great story. You have to tell the Spanish story. <laughs> well, uh, beat of my heart, the song so happened that it has the vibe of the Latin vibe there. So yeah. one of my, uh, I have a lot of Spanish friends. So one of my dear friends said, you know, hey, you know, you, you should throw in a little Spanish chorus there. And she translated the lyrics for me and she wrote it and we just, 
Yeah. I think it's very cool. <laughs> when, we're, that's the next song we're going to have you do is Beat of My Heart. And um, I think it's when I heard it on the, the, the CD, you know, I'm listening to the CD in my car and I'm going, is that Spanish? <laughs> I was going, I can't believe I'm here in Spanish. I know they're from India, but I thought that is so great. She's doing all these different languages, but you are, um, you do have projects. There's a large um, population here in the Tampa Bay mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. of p people from India. You have a variety of, so do you ever reach out into some of the local community here as well? You have opportunities to well, share? Well, we have a small group that we host in our house. So okay, one great. small group is from Victory Church. So, mm -hmm. but we, that, we reach out to the neighbors around. Mm -hmm. And uh, f we have an Indian fellowship also. So as Indians, we get together. That's great. And yeah, we, we sing in our own native language and, uh, and worship. So that is something really special. Oh yeah, and yeah. Um, now in, in terms of your music too, um, is, uh, you write all your own music, mm -hmm. we've already talked about that. Um, but have you been singing since a child? I mean, has this been something you've always done? Yes, um, I've been singing. My parents are recording artists, Christian recording artists, and they are actually music ministers. Oh, okay, so well I that explains around, it. Yeah, <laughs> I toured around uh, with them in India. Yeah. So to, went to a lot of places. And my mom writes the songs and my father composes the music. Oh, okay, that's yeah. terrific. Well, I, I will say, um, vocally, you are excellent because I, I am, I'm listening and I'm hearing some of the, the some difficult vocal moves. Can be you do some mm -hmm. things up and down the scale and you know running and God has blessed you and I know that you get it um, naturally from your parents now too. Well, all right, I we're going to hear some more of your music for the remainder of this show. So I want to uh, thank you both for sitting down and talking with us and love to see husband wife teams working together. So stay tuned. We're going to be back in just a moment. You are going to want to um, take a look at some information on how you can contact Christina Paul as well. That's coming up next and um, how you can reach out to her. You can find her music on her, her website. It's really user friendly. I call it that. And um, there's a variety of ways. I think Facebook too, and and but also uh, you can find her videos and um, just a, a tremendous way. And and also involved at, at Victory Church, like I said. So if you're looking for a good church and some good music, that's a place to go to. So we'll be right back with some more music from Christina. But here's how you can contact Christina Paul. To book music artist Christina Paul for a ministry event, please call 813-766. 8961. That number again, 813-766-8961. Or send an email to booking at christinapaul.com. You can find out more about Christina's ministry at christinapaul.com and on Facebook. I'm sure you've heard the saying, you are what you eat. And many can vouch that this is a very true statement. Proverbs 27, 19 talks about a similar comparison, which goes, as water reflects a face, so a man's heart reflects the man. And just like what you put inside your physical body reflects the body, what you put inside your spiritual body reflects the heart. Putting the Word of God daily inside of you and having that personal relationship with Him is key. The Bible talks about that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What are you speaking today?
Thank you, Christina. Another awesome song. Thank you so much for sharing your music with us today. And she's going to sing one more song for us, so you don't want you want to stay tuned. But I just want to encourage you um, to enjoy her music. If you can find her CD again, I'm going to say it is terrific. Go to her website, Christina Paul, Lord of All, it's ChristinaPaul.com, I believe. Um, you can just get this music. You want to get that. And she's going to close us out today singing an incredible song, worship song. Never let me go. Darkness tries to steal the light that shines within your light that's in my heart that guides me through the dark every time i fall behind i know this in my mind i reach out for your 